Hey guys, Aiden Blades here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a game called Game Dev Tycoon. Now, I've seen a lot of YouTubers play this, I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I really wanted to play this. You know, I was just watching someone play it today and was like, hey, that looks pretty fun. Looked at it on Steam, and it was only like 10 bucks, so I asked if I could get it, and it was all good. So, um, yeah, sorry, there's no Skyrim. For some reason, the mods I downloaded from, uh, from from Steam, they stayed there even though I told them to uninstall, which I don't get. Even because they're like Steam community gate, uh, Steam community mods. So what I expected to happen was, you know, I could just press, you know, like the unsubscribe button on that and just get rid of the mods. But nope, apparently not. I even tried un and reinstalling the game, but I guess that didn't work. But anyways, let's get straight into the game. I have no idea what to do. Uh, welcome, welcome to the game dev tycoon. In this business simulation. You have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of your of the PC revol revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, and gain fans, um, and become the leader of the market. Okay, cool. Uh, before you can start your before okay before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. All right. Ooh, what should we name our company? Uh, oh wait, I want to change this first. I want to see all the different hairstyles. Um, I'll go with, I'll go with that. That looks pretty generic. Uh, can I just, I like that. Yeah, that, okay, that looks cool. Uh, company name. Let's see. What could we do? Um, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm going to take a minute just to think about this because for some reason my mind is drawing a blank. Okay, so I've decided just the company name is gonna be Gamers, like Gamers, but with like a giant Z at the end. I don't know why, I'm very dumb. But uh, I'll just put, you know, I'll just put in Blades as my player name. Oh, okay, so you can change your uh, thing, okay. You can change your gender and everything. Tutorial, if you ever want to do so, help menu, you can access this game. And, okay, so that's just saying that I can do stuff. Complete a moment to worry about a success, I'm gonna start it out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere you want on the screen to start acting. Whoa, okay. Supporters for a young startup by, th by the game. <laughs> Develop new game. Okay. Uh, you can begin. You have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give, and give your game a ga a name. Why freaking tongue twisters to me at least. Um, you can also select the graphic technology and games to use. Okay, option. Okay, so I know what to do. Cause I've been I've seen people do this. I don't know what I'm gonna name it yet, cause I haven't decided what I'm gonna make it. I think I kind of want to go with a sci-fi. Um, I'm not sure. Sci-fi action maybe that could work. Pick pa platform. Just gonna go with the PC. And what should we name it? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go with sci-fi adventure of a lifetime. Oh wait, no, okay. Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, can I go over here and see? Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm just gonna capitalize it just because it looks nice that way. Uh, nope, that's not supposed to be capitalized. Here we go. And one more. Oh wait, I think light is one word, right? I think. Yeah, okay, I think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, text based, 2D graphics. It's gonna be a 2D graphics game. I should have enough for this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have, I have plenty. I have plenty of stuff for this. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus up for your game can greatly increase the points you generate. Okay. Uh, think about what areas are important. Okay. And these videos might be a bit longer just because this stuff takes a while to think about. Action, I feel like gameplay is very important. Engine, maybe? Maybe turn that down just a little bit. Uh, story and quests? No. Okay. Thinking maybe that. That might work. Okay. Let's see what happens. See how much stuff we get. Uh, game development has now started. While developing your game, you can generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. So that's like these little things that go up to these. So this is going to go to research, and that's going to go to technology. While developing your game, you will generate game. Okay, I already read that. It's freaking stupid. Uh, from time to time, there will also be bug points generated. Uh, bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Okay. So th so we've already had like two bugs. <laughs> it's not great. But um, also not hor horrible. Dialogues, I don't think, are really all that important. 
Level design? Yeah, yeah. Artificial intelligence? Maybe. Would that be good in an action game? I think I'm gonna level those two out. Yeah, I'll do that. That might work. Yeah, that seems to be working pretty well. Design and technology and research is all going up pretty good. Like, those are at seven, so that's- I think that's good. Uh, basic sounds, okay. Also see graphic types selected to find the game. So I can make it- okay, so I'll just- yeah, I'll just, you know, use those, that's fine. Uh, I guess I can just do- nope, can't even de de deselect them. Oh, well I can deselect basic sounds, but I might as well keep it, because I've got enough cash. Uh, world design for action, I don't feel like that's really important. Graphics, yes. Sound, maybe. I think I'll put those two at about half. I think that might work. Okay. We'll see what happens and uh, just let this play out, I guess. I don't know if there's anything else I need to do. Okay, well, all I, need, all I do know from this is that I need to let the bugs go down up here. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Bugs gotta go. And there you go. Please be good. <laughs> the development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and and improve your skills. When developing, uh, when development is complete, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Okay. Let's see. So those, it it can't say a new record or anything. Like it will sometimes. Everything went up pretty dang far. All right. Release game. Let's see what happens. Good judgment. Create a game with good topic genre combination. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that's a that's a good thing. I hope. <laughs> uh, your game is now complete. Hand it off to publish me. Okay, and now what I do know I can do is uh, nope, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I guess I just wait now. Is that all I do? Uh, generate game report. There you go. Uh, select. So I know a few things. First review sci-fi has let you came in. Ooh, please be good. Seven. Okay, that's that's good for a first game. Anything like above five, I think, is pretty good for a first game, considering <laughs> informed gamer like game informer. Okay, that's funny. Um, what are we gonna get? Eight. Played it for days. Okay, nice. Let's. I don't know what the. Okay, after publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain ref research points as well as usable insights into what works. Okay, cool. So basically it's gonna tell me what's what goes well together. Uh, gamer Gamer Z, a new a newcomer to the into the game industry, has just released their first game, Sci Fi Adventure of a Light Year. I like that name. I don't know why, but I really like it. The game received a favorable review. With such a good start, Gamer Z are sure to gain fans quickly. Nice! Okay. Wow, that's making a lot of money. <laughs> that's good. That is really good for a first game. Dang, okay. Look, we're already at like 70k. We're like right back where we started. That's good. I now have 33 fans. <laughs> good job. Of course, uh, first game already makes more makes more fans than I have subscribers. Good job, me. Um, sci-fi and action. And, okay, so sci-fi and action is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important. Dang it, that's where I messed up. Okay, I'll try I'll try a game like that again later and know that I can use, or know that I should use artificial intelligence. Okay. Now they complete a first game report. Is good to the idea to research menu. Okay. So I guess by action they mean like, you know, a first person shooter game kind of thing. Uh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Uh, research, I guess? I guess I can research some stuff while that's doing its thing. Uh, new topic, yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a martial arts one. Custom game engine. No, hoo hoo, I'm not gonna do that yet. Oh, it, it needs, uh, it needs research points, okay. Sci-fi adventure of a light year has, um, has achieved a company sales record of over... Uh, 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone for the history of Gamer Z. Nice. Just watching all these rack up. How do we, like, how do I know what I have and, like, can I, okay, so he's, he's almost done researching. Successfully used his new mar martial arts. Okay, cool. So I think that's what I'm gonna make my next game. I guess, yeah, just develop new game. Uh, don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, so martial arts. I'm thinking maybe... Martial arts and strategy might go together. 
I think I might do actually detective and I don't know whether to go RPG or like strategy. I don't feel like simulation and adventure, well maybe adventure, detective and, ad and adventure. I'm really not sure. I think I'll go music and strategy. That seems like a good one. That seems like it could be a really good one. Um, ooh, should I go with the G64 for this? I did make a lot of money in sales. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna... Wait, what is this like? Okay, so this is basically like a computer, I guess. This is just... Okay. Yeah, I'll just go with this. Um, next. Text-based... 2D graphics. I'll go with 2D graphics. Because I made I made a lot of money off that last game. That's only 30k. Anyways. Um, music strategy, I feel like engine could probably go down. Gameplay is gonna go way up in a strategy game. Story and quests, maybe up a little bit. Maybe bring that down a little bit more. Bring that up. Okay, yeah. That might work. Uh, we'll see how good it does. Whoops. Didn't mean to click. There you go. Apparently just clicking anywhere pauses the game. I should know that. That would be a good thing to do. I also, like, I'm just now noticing he has, like, a little Pong, a little Pong poster over here. Oop. Uh, um, okay. Level design, I feel like I could maybe bring that down. Artificial intelligence, bring that down. Maybe dialogues and level design up a little bit more. Maybe there. I'll bring dialogues up. Because in music, you know, it's like dialogues is kind of, I guess, like singing in a way. I could, that could be a thing. Uh, wow. That's... That went really well. <laughs> that game did really well for a first game. Um, music and strategy. So I could do world design, graphics, and sound. Sound, definitely. Graphics, not so much. And world design, not so much. So I'm going to spend a lot of time on, on sound. Which is probably the best thing for a music game. Okay. Whew, let's see what happens. Oh, I should have brought it up. Level design. I just realized that. That probably could have helped a lot. Okay, uh, there were no bugs, but he's- Oh! Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> huh. So we got rid of that. Let's see, okay, finish. Um, this isn't gonna send any, any new records or anything. I think our first game did way better. I- I don't know yet, though. We'll have to see what people think about it. Research is just, uh, steadily outselling competitors in the- Yeah, competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the low price, greater availability, and flexible- And flexible hardware configuring over- Okay. So G64 is better, okay. That's good to know, I think. <laughs> I think that's what it was trying to say. First reviews came in, ooh. Oh, this is, it did horribly. Oh, that sucks. Damn it. Okay, I gotta, well, at least I know strategy, game work, strategy games work well on the G64. I wonder how music and strategy didn't really go well together. I guess, first I'll generate a game report. 2.75, that's freaking horrible. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something better. I'll try a sci-fi action game again, and then this time I'll pick the right things to use. Cause it'll, it, it, um, it should show me what to do. I didn't read those, whoops. <laughs> okay, develop a new game. Um, pick topic. Okay, I'm gonna do sci-fi action, uh, PC game. Wait. Strategy plus plus plus. Okay, so strategy games work really well on this, but for now I'm gonna use action on this on the PC. So next. Oh wait 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 wait. Uh, game name. Uh. Sci. No. Okay. This time it'll be um. Uh. I don't know what to name it. I really don't know what to name it. Uh. Let's see. What can we do? We could do sci sci-fi. Oh, that's not right. There we go. Adventure two. And then what should we like? You know, what should we make the actual game title? We can make it. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna name it Destruction of Planets. <laughs> Destruction of planets. There you go. Oh, does it not fit? Can I not do that? I guess not. That sucks. Dang it. Um, naming games is something difficult. <laughs> okay, so I guess if you take a while to make a name, then it uh, it just says 
that it, it gives you a little achievement. Good job, me. I'm getting achievements for not doing things, not doing things fast enough. Here we go. Next, uh, text-based. No, okay, we'll go 2D graphics again, because I feel like I have enough to do that. I feel like I could have him research something after this. Uh, engine, yes. Gameplay. I think they said. Okay, I'll I'll leave gameplay like fairly high, but not really. Story and quests, no, bring that down. I don't remember where I had stuff. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, I don't know what this is gonna do. It might do well. <laughs> it's not setting any new records or anything. In fact, it's actually going really slowly. This is not good for me. This is really not good. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights. Okay. Cool. Alright, got it. So that's just saying, you know, stuff sucks. Artificial intelligence, really high. Dialogues, not so much. And level design, I feel like that could be pretty high, but not up there with artificial intelligence. So there you go. According to the rumors, Japanese company Nevento. Okay, so that's like Nintendo. Got it. <laughs> They're doing stuff. Now I know that. Jeez, five bugs? Are you serious? You're gonna have to take some time to work that off. Alright, let's see here. Graphics, yes. Sound, uh, I'll leave it up high, but not way too high. World design, I'll leave it up there with sound, I think. I think I'll bring that down, actually, just a little bit. Just so it spends more time on graphics, because I feel like that's more important for, like, an action game. Whew. I already set new records, though. That's good. Uh, game number two is... Did I seriously forget to name something? Oh, that sucks. I forgot to name the last game, didn't I? <laughs> wow, I'm dumb. All right. Gotta wait for those bugs to go away. Okay. Finish. Let's see. No. Oh, really? I didn't get new records on those? Surprising. All right. Well, that's all done. Release game. Wait, then what was... What was my, uh... What was my first thing that I did? First reviews. <laughs> Sci-Fi Adventure 2 Destroy Worlds came in. Ooh, I'm seeing some pretty high numbers. Shows potential. That's pretty good. I like it. And... Good game. What's the last... What? Enjoyable. Okay, good. So that should be 7.5. I'm assuming that's going to be because it was like two sevens and two sixes. Okay. Uh, generate game report. Yeah, generate the game report. It was a 6.5. That's, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Today, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors announcing that... Okay, so... They came out with a new console, uh, the TES. Hi there, I've just finished Sci-Fi Adventure 2 Destroy Destroy Worlds, and I'm impressed by your talent. Yeah! People are impressed. And I, um, I'm in the contract business, and we could use skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know, and I will see if I have some work for you. Jason. Okay. Cool. Contracts. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen to be to bring up the action menu. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna wait until this guy finishes doing his thing. Whew. Um, level design seems to be quite important for the, for this type of game. Platform, genre match, PC action, good. Alright, that's... Whew. Going good. Everything's going pretty good. Alright. Why not... Dang, we're... This is selling really well. I think I'm gonna do a fine contract work. Alright. Uh, what should we do... I have five weeks to do that, 17 and 4. Five weeks to do that, 11 and 7. This... Okay, wh well, what's the payment? That's 22k. That's 19. That's 13. I think... Game backdrops, design some simple bound for graphics for a game. Ooh. Design some game characters. I feel like, uh... Okay, I feel like this might work. Sprite sheets off. No, okay, I'll go with this one. Because that gives me five weeks to do 11 and 7. I feel like that's. I feel like that could be pretty good. Plus, we get 19k if we do it. If we do it properly. Whew. Uh, thank you to me uh, from Patrick and Daniel Klug, Greenheart Games. Uh, Hi, and Blades, we are the creators of Dam Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Game Dev Tycoon is the very first game and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your. With your purchase, you support our little startup, and this will hopefully make sure we can bring more, bring you more games in the future. Uh, seriously, you rock. Thanks for so much, and fun with Game Dev Ty Tycoon. 
Nice. All right. That's I like that they put that in there. That's 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 nice. That's that's a really nice that's a really nice thing. All right. We're get we have a lot of research points. I should probably start uh, researching some stuff. Already finished it. Nice. 19k. I probably could have done the other one then. Uh, Jason here. I just got word of client contract work successfully complete. Uh, excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back in sometime. Cool. And we're getting a lot of money off of this. Uh, what can he do? Um, you know, research. Okay. Research a new topic. Research comedy. That could be good. And I can even do- I can do a custom game. Ooh, custom game- no, okay, I'll do comedy for now. I don't wanna- I don't wanna- I don't wanna do anything with custom game engine right now. I feel like that might not be a great idea. Game off the market. Sci-Fi Adventure 2 Destroy Worlds is now off the market. It sold 11,216 units, generating 78,554 in, in sales. That's awesome! Okay. Uh, new comedy topic. Okay. Uh, let's see what else can we do. Find... Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna do another one of these. I wanna do the character design for this one. Because he did the other one pretty dang well, so hopefully this one doesn't go too horribly. Because <laughs> that has, like, technology has, like, nothing to it, so then he just focuses everything on design, and that can just, that goes straight out. Alright. Uh, today, new game platform TES have been released. Okay, cool. So, um, the TES has been released, so that's good. New platform to start working on if we want to. Excellent work, being transferred 23... Okay, good. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna develop one more game, and then I think after this I'll um, end the video. Let's do comedy. Pick genre. Comedy. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, no, I'm not gonna do comedy yet, but I will do. What What could I do? I could do. Ooh, I'm gonna do a history simulation game. Uh, I'm gonna use the PC, and let's see, game. So I do know simulation works well on PC. That's one thing I do remember from uh, watching other people. So let's see, what can we do? What can we name it? Uh, ooh, I'm not like I have an idea, but I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure on what to call it. Okay, so I thought of <laughs> I've thought of a name. It's called Back in Time War and Friendship. It's just it's the best. Okay, next we can make it 2D graphics. Yes, because we have. We made a lot of money off of our last game, which is awesome. Um, engine for a simulation, yes. Gameplay, definitely. Story and quests, uh, not so much. I feel like story and quests could maybe be up there, but not way too much. Okay, let's see. How does this do? Uh, please do well. Please do well. Ooh, that's a lot of bugs. <laughs> uh, time allocation, so... Let's see, dialogues, maybe just, just a little bit. Level design, yes. Uh, artificial intelligence, not so much. Maybe about there. Yeah, okay. That might work. Whew, I'm really hoping this does well, because I'm hoping to, uh, to actually do something with this game. Alright, let's see. Simulation, world design, yes. Graphics, yes. Sound, I'll put that about halfway. Hopefully this works. I'm really- I really want this game to do well. I really want this game to do really well. Alright. That's a lot of points going into everything. Now I gotta wait for bugs to finish. Maybe get some research points out of it? Maybe? No? Okay. <laughs> finish game. I don't think we're gonna break any records here, but uh... Oh! Cool! I got a new record in this! Everything- almost everything leveled up besides story- story and quests and dialogues, because I didn't really use them. Fair enough. Okay, release game. Whew, I hope this does well. First reviews came in. Ooh. Have seen better? It's a five. That's not horrible. Seven. Good. Good, good, good. Hopefully six. Yes. Okay, could have been better. That's not great, but... <laughs> and shows potential. Okay. So, this is probably gonna be like... Honestly, I'm not sure, but I feel like 6.25. If I'm correct, I will feel awesome about that. It's a six. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know that it can't go into like the two point or like the point two five range because I've seen that, but I was I was kind of hoping it would do that, and eh, it's fine. I mean, it's probably great, good that it didn't. Uh, sim 
History and simulation is a great combination. World design seems to not be very important for this type of game. I thought it would have been for, like, a simulation game, because it's, like, you're experiencing, like, you know, what's happening around you, so it's, like, world design, I feel like that would be important, but I guess not. Uh, platform genre match. Okay, great. PC and simulation is great. Awesome. So now I know to do that, and I I'm actually going to do... I'm gonna research a new topic. I'm gonna research Wild West. Yes. Alright, then I think after that I'll just end the episode. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know you want more, and I will see all you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!